हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल द लेस इज मोर सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एन एडिटोरियल फ्रॉम द हिंदू एंड द टॉपिक टुडे इज इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस ओके सो एंड द टाइटल ऑफ द एडिटोरियल इज जम्प स्टार्टिंग द नेक्स्ट फेज ऑफ यू एस इंडिया डिफेंस टाइज सो इट्स अ नेक्स्ट फेज ऑफ यू एस इंडिया डिफेंस टाइज ओवर द लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स देर हैज बीन इंक्रेडिबल मोमेंटम इन यू एस इंडिया टाइज ड्रीवन प्राइमरली बाई देर डिफेंस रिलेशनशिप यूनाइटेड स्टेट सेक्रेटरी ऑफ डिफेंस लॉयड ऑस्टिन ट्रैवल टू इंडिया फ्रॉम जून फोर फाइव टू री इनफोर्स द मेजर डिफेंस पार्टनरशिप and advanced cooperation in critical domains noticeably his visit secured an agreement on a road map for defense industrial cooperation announced as part of the us india initiative on critical and emerging technology agreement and which had its inaugural meeting in june january this year the road map envisages boosting defense manufacturing in india through greater technological cooperation what this road map envisages for boosting defense cooperation defense technological cooperation between two countries right while the objectives complement india's own self reliance mission and its desire to lessen import dependence it potentially reposition the us in the broader context of the us india strategic relationship the visit's objective had two important legs technological innovation and growing military cooperation one of the most important steps taken during the visit was towards strengthening the bilateral defense relationship by creating the road map to promote collaboration in the defense industry the road map aims to expedite crucial co development and co production initiatives fostering stronger connections between the defense sectors of the two countries there was the launch of new initiative indusex which is to provide a new impetus to the defense innovation engagement between the two countries new impetus to defense innovation this builds on the us india bilateral space situational awareness arrangement signed in 2022 space situational awareness arrangement which promised to enhance information sharing and cooperation in the space sector furthermore new areas in defense space exchange have been identified based on the cooperation between the us space command and india's defense space agency india's major defense partner status along with the four foundational agreements signed with the us now allow for the sharing of technology and more frequent cooperation these have not only allowed the sharing of sensitive technologies without india having to become an ally but have also proved to be effective mechanism to prevent backsliding due to procedural difficulties or structural differences so this is an exception that us has made for india that is not only allow sharing of sensitive technologies without india having to become an ally that is nato ally but also prove to be effective mechanism so it's a effective mechanisms to prevent what backsliding due to procedural difficulties so there are many instances uh, during which us has backslided from any deal or the any partnership or any agreement right but here it becomes difficult the indo pacific imperative indo pacific during the 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue in april 2022 the us defense secretary referred to the us india defense partnership as the cornerstone of their engagement in the indo pacific so defense partnership is the cornerstone of their engagement in indo pacific he outlined broad aspects in the indo pacific including coercive actions by the people's republic of china 
the aggressive action of Russia towards Ukraine aimed at forcibly redrawing borders and undermining national sovereignty, transnational issues such as terrorism and climate change. The combined threat assessment by India and the US in the region point to China as a common and most conspicuous challenge. So, it's a common enemy for India and US. As stated in China's military power report 2022, brought out by the US, the People's Liberation Army, Navy is the world's largest Navy by number of ships. With the Indo-Pacific region getting more contested, it is estimated that the subsurface presence of China is likely to increase in the Indian and Pacific Ocean. So, it have also been estimated that subsurface presence of China that is under the sea is likely to increase in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Beyond the Indo-Pacific, a strong rationale for projecting broader industrial cooperation between Indian and US companies in the defense sector is the existing scale of American investment in India. Industrial cooperation in the defense sector between Indian and US companies. Behind this is an almost de declaratory support by the US government exhorting its companies to support India's defense modernization. In the long run, this could lead to at least three dominant trends under the umbrella of US-India defense cooperation, nurturing and growth of an ecosystem of joint ventures between companies. This is one. The US incrementally gaining a larger share in the Indian's defense manufacturing. This is second. And both sides are ironing out existing impediments in co-development and co-production. American companies led by Boeing, Lockheed Martin, BAE Systems, Honeywell Aerospace, Radiant Textron and other partners across a range of manufacturing activities related to the defense sector with Indian companies, most prominently with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and the Tata Group. These are likely to be supplemented by linking defense startups from both countries through an innovation bridge that was announced in the IC8 agreement. The Defense Technology and Trade Initiative has often been criticized for being too ambitious and caught in the maelstrom of bureaucratic resistance, technicalities related to sensitive technology transfer and structural differences in how the India-US defense ecosystem work. However, recent steps promise to jumpstart to the DTTI by providing specific momentum to co-production and co-development in the defense sector. A standout in this regard has been the elevation of the India-US relation strategic partnership with the ICT agreement. The visit of the US Defense Secretary has prepared the ground for the official visit of PM Modi to the US on June 22, which could see a few big ticket announcements, especially in the area of defense cooperation. The sky, it seems, is the limit in the emerging defense partnership between two of the world's leading democracies. So, the sky is the limit for emerging defense partnership between two of the world's leading democracies. So, this editorial was written by Mr. Harsri Pant, the Vice President at ORF, Observer Research Foundation and Vivek Mistra, a fellow at ORF, over the US and India defense ties. We have seen that how the Defense Secretary visited India for two important legs that is technological innovation and defense partnership in defense tech defense tech production and the and why it why the US is getting closer to India because there is a Indo Pacific imperative common enemy that is China. Okay. So that's why and even India also needs US to lessen its dependence, okay, lessen import of defense equipments from Russia, okay, 
and it also needs modernization and become self reliant this would be possible by joint venture with indian and us companies okay and it's not only that us is giving uh, us the equipments but it is also transferring the technology to india okay that is what become more important that is technology transfer so the author is saying that the only right now the sky is the limit for the both the countries to get closer both the world leading democracy to get the closer and and this visit of the defense secretary also prepared the ground for pm modi's official visit to us on 22nd june right so guys this was for today i hope you would be understanding and please do comment in the comment section okay just you can write down the summary in just 15 to 20 words of this editorial okay so till then bye bye signing off